Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on Witcher 3. We need to find the drop box, which I believe is behind right there. Must be the drop box. Okay. Time to use Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Okay, let's be at the arranged meeting place at midnight. So let's go ahead and head over there. So, need to find myself. I need. We need. We need to pick up Dandelion here. Get this shit rocking and rolling, so I can head to Skellige and hopefully get a silver sword that's not level one. I'm taking a look. At this point, I'm taking a level two silver sword because it'll be better what I got. I feel like at this point I had like a level twelve silver sword. Like, I don't feel like I was struggling this bad with silver swords. I guess because I was doing a bunch of side quests and looting a bunch of shit. But, I mean, this just seems a little ridiculous to me. I guess, let's go leave this. Are there drowners everywhere? No. Calvary boots. Silver sword. Really? Steel short sword. You hate me, game. Just admit it. The Tamer. Can that please be a silver sword? Fishing rod, hell yeah. Please. Silver sword, silver sword, silver sword, silver sword. Silver sword! Yes! Woo! A level 4 silver sword! I don't think I've ever been happier to get a freaking level 4. But hot diggity damn, we got a level 4 silver sword. Let's go. I have a weapons repair kit. That, I healed it up to 88%. What does this do? 15%, I'm assuming, yeah. We'll do it again since we just went to the... Okay, yes! Woo! New silver sword. It's only a level 4, which still is some ass, but... Hey. They're in the level one. Get out of my way, you little shit. Let's go around front. Now let's head in. Now just to hide and wait. For a, for an abandoned house, it's got to, it's got some nice loot. No goat hide. It should have a really nice. Someone should be hiding their really nice silver sword. Behind the door, best place to hide. Classic. Come on, someone. Someone has got to be hiding their epic silver sword in here. These steel ingots are good, though. I think I need. I think you can make a weapon with them. What the hell is that? How did I not loot that? Yeah, freaking mug. Okay. Um. Am I supposed to meditate? To midnight? Guess we'll do it this way. We'll see. Think if you were Geralt and you really sat there for like 17 hours. Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, hide. Menge. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions, and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. 
sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I'd never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Enough! Enough! So, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. Right. That's... What this is all about? A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start, before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic! I, I can't believe it! For a miserable sap like that! Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad. I promise. Peace, lay and gave. Really showed your claws today. Is that how you see it? I'd put it differently. I showed how little I differ from these bastards. I... Let's finish up and leave. I want to go home, bathe, and get drunk. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. All right. Yeah, it's nice that you get to just do that. All right. Oh, fuck me, dude. I don't want to do this stupid ass play. Priscilla, I do not want to do this play. This play makes me want to jump off a cliff. You know? No, no, no. You don't want to talk it. It's about the fast travel. Then I said that. Then I, then I thought about it for a second and decided it was probably quicker just to run. How oh, my stupid compression sock is freaking riding. It's going sliding down. 
the hell's the point of a compression sock if it keeps sliding down? It makes no sense. I guess this one's a little loose. I have three compression socks. One's loose, so... You're only supposed to get two, but one was... one. This one that's loose was loose, so I wanted another one. Uh, I just wear this one while the other two are in the... washer, dryer, or whatever. Alright. Priscilla, I really don't want to do this play. I really don't want to do this play. Uh, this is gonna suck so much. This wasn't fun the first time. It's not gonna be fun the second time. Oh, she's not up. She is back here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Reynard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to do you into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. <sighs> All Let's right. do it. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know, Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Well, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster. There to steal Princess Parvera. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation, and A Changeling Rescued or the Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? A Changeling Rescued or the Witch's Triumph. 
really emphasizes the message we're trying to get across. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Hmm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Sorry about that noise. A Done. little bit earlier, I was I fixing my compression side. This had I a bit more time, but we're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message. You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or that wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar, or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Alright, time to take the script. I think I'm gonna try to weasel my way out of being in this play. We were in the last one, we're weaseling our way out of this one. I sure hope I can weasel my way out of it. Because this is, this is my least favorite part of this game. I guess I get it, and I get it because she's a performer, but I just don't like this part of this game, and I just ran the wrong way. That's great. At least I noticed before I got too far. I gotta talk to this idiot. This is where Madame Marina's troupe performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. You dick. Oh, Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first, we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Do I have a choice? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. 
Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly... difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Alright. Go ahead and head to the docks. Oh, I've worked up quite well. Go to them first, and then we'll, uh, we'll go and talk. We'll get the puppins to promote it. Get the usher ushers first, and then the puppins. I should have gone to the Puffins first, because it was closer, so that's just fantastic. And the fact that they put them on opposite sides of the map, that's also fantastic. Alright. I can't stop yawning. I don't know why. This dude is so creepy outside. I can see like another house out the window where I'm playing Xbox and uh, this guy comes out on his porch and smokes but he just looks like the creepiest little fucker sitting outside his house with like one porch light. Just looks like something straight out of a horror movie. Clearly I, I feel like one minute I'm gonna be looking over there and I'm gonna see him and then the next he's just gonna be like at my window staring in. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metana. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we do. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Ow! Wanna smash some bricklayers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know me own brother. Huh? Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Alright. Now we need to recruit the jugglers. Or the. Yeah, recruit jugglers from the performing troop called the puppets. I could just go talk to. Lo but I don't think this is too difficult to get them to promote it. Not. I guess it doesn't really matter promoted or not. I don't get paid anything for getting more people to come. No, we'll just talk to her. We'll just talk to her and get this going. Fuck the puffins. No one cares about the puffins. I should I should try to do a playthrough without cussing. Cause I, I cuss way too much when I get pissed. Doing a death march great playthrough without saying the word. Fuck. I don't think I could do it because... Um. I should stop. I should. I should calm it down. I should stop swearing as much as I do. But video games. Video games just. I don't talk. I don't cuss like almost at all. Oh shit! What the hell? I don't cuss like at all when I'm not playing Xbox. Or like I guess I PC game a little bit too. So I guess if I'm not PC. Not PC gaming, or... You guys know what I'm saying. If I'm not PC gaming, or... Playing video games in general, I guess. Or playing sports. I guess sports pissed me off. If 
But if I'm not doing either of those, then I really don't cuss. Like, I don't cuss in regular life. about me and cussing all the time. You'll notice really like when I start dying a lot on this difficulty or something like it already has happened. I just, I have a very short fuse and I'm impatient as hell. So I hate going backwards in video games. And I hate messing up and I hate not knowing what to do. That's just like the most frustrating thing to me. All right, let's see if we can start this shit. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu. But we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen. But I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. I'll let her play it. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier. Outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, Welcome! We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. 
Its title, A Changeling Rescued or the Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the Queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the Prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the Princess, renowned artiste, beloved Queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. This crowd looks about the same size as if I would have gotten the puppins. If he doesn't show up, I'm going to be heated. I'm going to throw my controller and flip shit. If that's the reason you need the puffins. Why is this guy like half naked? The dude's like more than half naked. He just has pants. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. And a grateful queen shall reward your woes. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... Uh, and no man is my measure. So fucking terrible. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The figure. monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <coughs> Girl, you suck at acting, homie. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd kiss, um, uh, uh, deceitful like liars. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! It is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher! The beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop. Stop. Beast or man, tis my love. My betrothed. Sheath your blades. Fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes.
but a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers, as well as for fish. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the God! Remove the traitor at once! Thank God that's hey, over. Hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. <laughs> He's proud of himself. Jesus, Carol. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Calm down. He's right! I, Mummers, don't know the Eternal Fire's commandments! Blasphemers! All the teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes! Take more than threats to keep us quiet! That's alright, I'll try my knuckle dusters. Come here! Yeah, fight! Oh shit, I actually have to fight here? I don't remember this. You Come here. Come here, outraged townsmen. Chicken leg! Let's go. Homies, help me kill this bandit. Nah, Zoltan cleaning up. Bitch. Oh, I feel like some decent diversion, eh? <laughs> no. Come on. Dudu awaits backstage. Yeah. I need to take my time, make sure I heal up. So we'll loot. We'll loot some of this stuff while I wait until I'm full health. There we go. Me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. 
even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menka's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenford. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in a ravine. Geralt will then join us and will await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle. Burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So? Settled? Let's get to work. Oh, Hell Geralt. Yeah. Geralt, I fear I'd be more successful hunting a beast than you were on stage. Could be. You'd still be wiser not to try. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Ah, you would get more coins based on who you pick. And what you do. Ah. It's good to know, I guess. Doesn't very well help me now, but <laughs> I guess it is good Did to you know. See those poor wretches who I got ten bucks. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out here. So we need to meet Zoltana at the site of the ambush. That's gonna wrap up this episode. In the next episode we will be getting dandelion back so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys then peace out